at uh, high tide coming up in about 55 minutes there, Beth. David, we are in the thick of it here in Situate with these winds, the sustained winds, the snow, and that impending high tide. And they are dealing with a lot of challenges, as you can well imagine, in the town right now. We spoke with the town administrator and the police chief just a little while ago. Communications are down. All the business lines are down at the police department. They have radio communication. Residents can call 911, but those calls have to be rerouted before they get to the police station. They are trying to respond as best they can. Already, the road roads down along the point are a concern. They are already filling in an hour before high tide. They are at the ready to bring people out, but the police chief is still urging people that if they can to leave on their own. If they do need help, they should call 911 and they will respond as quickly as they can. The police chief tells me they've already had to bring four people out. And of course, this was the concern all along. We're also dealing with the snow, ice, there's sand all mixed in. It's like the consistency of concrete. That is affecting the power lines here. The power lines are down. The town is completely without power and they're not expecting it to be restored for perhaps as many as five days. So when we woke up this morning, it was quite a scene this morning. A hard, cold reality by morning in situate. By the ocean, the wind stronger and sustained. And Dennis Crary spent a cold night in the dark. I was up on the third floor and it was like being on a boat. I almost got seasick. Were you worried last night about the house? I was. I was really considering maybe I should have left, but I'm here now, so that's my own fault. Downed wires a problem, some laying over snow-covered streets, and some taking trees with them. The visibility making it tough for plow drivers, tackling the roads and parking lots. What's the visibility like? Terrible. It's awful. You can't see more than, more, more, not more than a quarter of a mile in front of you. It's terrible. You worried about the, the wires and the trees? Wires and trees down, broken poles, just about everything in this town right now. These winds this morning are now much more sustained, not the gusts that we saw last night. And when you've got the wind and you've got sand and ice, you've got rock solid consistency that everyone is trying to deal with this morning. The town is encased in ice, everything whipped up by the winds, making it a frosty morning throughout the seemingly deserted town. Ed Leary just getting started after a night cold. It's all powder on top and it's rock solid on the bottom. I don't think I've got a snow blow I was going to dig out. I don't think I, the snow blow will be able to uh, move it. And this is pretty much what they expected and tried to prepare for. The snow, of course, is an added ingredient. Often with these coastal storms, they're just dealing with wind and rain. But now they're dealing with this heavy snow. And the police chief tells me that 10 o'clock tide last night, they originally weren't so concerned about it, but the winds were much more sustained than they expected. That tide did not go out very much last night, and that is the problem this morning, that wall of water just coming in. So they are down on the point trying to deal with that right now. The travel ban remains in effect, of course, and they are glad for that. That will hopefully keep people off the roads, keep people in their homes and safe. But of course, some dark, cold days ahead here as they deal with these power outages. Just a lot of challenges here in Situate and many hours before we're out of the woods here. Reporting live from Situate, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Back to you.